All right, back to our COVID coverage and the vaccine rate and Omicron variant. Joining us is Dr. Bob Wachter. And uh, Dr. Bob, are you with me? Hey, there you are. Hi. I uh, hope you're feeling well. I've got a big question about the, the surge we're seeing, the Omicron variant. How big a concern is this for, for you and your peers seeing this surge at this time of year with the holidays? Well, it's a huge concern because the cases are skyrocketing everywhere, including now in the Bay Area. Uh, this thing is far more infectious than the prior variants and, and, and uh, is able to sidestep the immune system uh, and vaccines to some extent. What's comforting so far is we're not seeing a massive surge in hospitalizations uh, the way that we might have with, a, with, with Delta. So although cases are way, way up in the Bay Area, we're all hearing about far more cases than we have even two weeks ago. Uh, at UCSF, for example, we've seen a small uptick in cases, but nowhere near what we feared. And it does look like this is milder, particularly in people who have been vaccinated and boosted. Well, I had that very issue come up uh, over the holidays. Someone said to me, well, people aren't getting as sick and they're not dying. So why do I have to take this as seriously? Well, uh, the, there are several reasons. First of all, there are people who are getting sick and, and will die of this if it's a little bit less serious uh, per case, but we have two or three or five times as many cases. There are going to be a lot of people who do get sick and end up in the hospital, and some of them uh, will die. The second is if you get infected, uh, you may end up having a pretty unpleasant time of it, whether it's just for a few days or a few percent may have long COVID and have symptoms for month, months. And the third is that you then can infect other people. So if you're young and healthy, you may say, may say I'm okay, but you may infect grandma and she may have a really bad outcome or you may infect someone who's been vaccinated, but they're on immunosuppressives and therefore they're not very well protected. So obviously during the holidays, a lot of folks aren't going into work. They have a break. They have some vacation. Kids are out of school. They get that break too. Should kids be tested before they go back into school? Is that a good idea? I don't think they need to be tested unless they have symptoms or uh, and particularly for the unvaccinated kids, they, if they've been exposed, they, it would be worthwhile testing. But I do think that this thing is, uh, this variant is so infectious that we have to up our game, that there should be masks in schools and the masks, if you used to wear a cloth mask, cloth mask, uh, this variant kind of laughs at the cloth mask. So I have upped my game to wearing an N95 or a KN95 pretty much all the time when I'm indoors, unless I'm with a small group of people who I know are vaccinated and boosted and I know feel fine. So I think we all have to get a little bit more careful. Hopefully this surge is only gonna last a couple of months. That's what South Africa has looked like, but we do have to get more careful in order to get through this without having even more infections than I fear we're going to have. I was just gonna ask you about South Africa, seeing that surge sort of flatten out. Do you expect that to happen here? Uh, probably, I think, you know, most of our surges in the U.S. <clears throat> have lasted about two months. And so uh, what is comforting about South Africa is it went up uh, really uh, north very, very quickly and then came down very quickly as well. So uh, I think that that would be the likeliest outcome, that we've got a couple of pretty bad months ahead of us with a lot of people getting infected, some people getting very sick, although fewer than we would have expected previously, and then things coming back toward normal probably late February or March, if you had to make a guess. All right, I'm gonna up my mask game upon your recommendation. I'm gonna start looking Good at idea. my inventory. All right, Dr. Bob, thanks so much, appreciate it.